when I think about all the perceptions I had about Nigerians back in Ghana, <laughs> now I feel bad. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ekuya. I think if I was in Nigerian, I would have been called a Wednesday or Wednesday. They have Sunday, don't they? <laughs> On this channel, I aim to inspire, to motivate, a bit of health because I'm a nurse and a bit of lifestyle. If you've already subscribed, thank you for coming back. If you're new here, thank you for clicking on this video and I hope you enjoy it and you stay and become part of this family today we are going to talk about six things that I love I appreciate about Nigerians I can't believe that I am making a video like this because back in Ghana the things we heard about Nigerians guys forgive us forgive me I did not know better but I have been in the UK for 10 years and having experienced Nigerians almost all my friends i've got six very good nigerian friends i'll call them my sisters now there is this whole new love this whole new perception i think i have seen nigerians in a different 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 light and today i want people to hear about my perception how i feel about you guys why i love nigerians and why i appreciate you guys and why i would have loved to be a nigerian i love being a Ghanaian. yay but I wouldn't mind being a Nigerian because you guys are amazing. So let's get straight on. <laughs> the first thing is going to be how fearless Nigerians are. They are hardworking. They go for what they want. They are always ready to move a step further. Okay. They don't settle for less. Okay. They are hustlers. Should I say they are hustlers and I love the hustling nature of Nigerians. Okay, you see when I was in uni, a fully grown woman in her 50s or late 40s coming back to school because they think they cannot settle where they are. You ask them, they are like, I had children, so I wanted them to go to school, like grow up a bit. But as when people will say, oh, at this age, I don't think I can do anything. I'm just going to stay there like that. No, not these people, not Nigerians. Okay, at any opportunity given them, they take it. Okay, and they take it to work on who they are and go further in life. They are hardworking. I have never seen people like that. <laughs> okay, when you look, we are looking for real hustlers, it's Nigerians. They don't settle for less. I don't think I have seen a lot of Nigerians being cleaners or you know, those jobs here in the UK. When you go to the hospitals and you see a black person, talk to them. Might probably be a, Niger a Nigerian. When you see a junior doctor, these young, young, young black doctors, go speak to them. Might probably be a Nigerian, okay? These people, that's who they are. They are real hustlers and they work, work so hard. They are pushy and they don't settle for less. And I think that is one thing that I have learned about Nigerians and I appreciate and I want to um, apply it to my own life. Just don't settle for less. Push, okay? Because when we come to a, a different country like this, I think most of the time we settle for less because we are like oh and we don't think they will accept us we don't think they will really uh, uh, give us this opportunity go for it <laughs> i have gone to places that you might not think that a, a black person will be there you will go and it will be a nigerian don't be surprised just go for whatever dream you want to go let us all be hustlers like nigerian and excel in this life in whatever endeavor that we want to pursue <laughs> second thing is they are not afraid of who they are they are not scared for people to know that they are nigerians their language their accent they might have thick nigerian accent i know there are different accents in nigeria but they are not afraid they don't try to change their accent to please anyone Okay, I went, I went on a placement with this Nigerian lady who was a speech and language therapist. And she had this thick accent that I would see these white people come in and they cannot even understand what she's saying, but she didn't care. She qualified. She's been to school. So far, she's qualified. She's qualified for that job. She got the role. She doesn't care whether you don't understand her accent or not. Okay, she's there as the speech and language therapist. They don't change for anybody. They don't try to uh, um, change their accent to suit whatever. They are who they are. Their name, they are proud of their name. I don't normally see Nigerians with big, big English names. They will come there with their long Nigerian names. Even me, sometimes as an African, I find it very difficult to pronounce. But they don't care. Pronounce it wrong, they will correct you. This is how you pronounce my name. Okay? And they give it to their children. Their children will go to school. I used to live in London. 
my first son was in a class where um, they had a lot of Nigerian children and they came these children had all, got all these beautiful Nigerian names they're like they're very difficult to pronounce quite long but they still gave those names to their children and you the teacher better pronounce it well okay and they make their children very proud of their names that they grow up they don't change it look at this um, uh, famous Nigerian author is it Chima Manda have I said it well Edichi you understand look at that name she, you will pronounce it you have to put some respect on that name okay that's how why i'm so proud of my name i think when i started my channel i was using mode which is a name that my household name everybody calls me but i'm like you know what you are a queer go for that a queer people must learn to pronounce it it is pronounced a queer teach them and they will learn how to pronounce it okay so being proud of who they are as people being proud of their name, being proud of their accent, their language, they will not change who they are to please anybody. And that's one thing that I really, really love and I appreciate about Nigerians. <laughs> the thing is, they are supportive. Do you have Nigerian friends? As I said, I have six Nigerian sisters. Ade, Mweba, Olu, another Olu, and Lola. Oh, you guys, I love you. They are supportive of you they don't ask questions okay i remember when i started this my youtube channel and i told them guys subscribe to my channel like okay you understand like what is it about they don't ask questions so far as you are a friend they will support you look at their their entertainment industry the way they are supportive of their stars okay they are always there they speak highly of themselves Okay, I remember when I was back in uni, third year, I got pregnant. It was planned anyway. It wasn't an accident. <laughs> I wanted to have a, a graduation baby. So I had my, I got pregnant in my third year with my third baby. And my, my pregnancy are normally quite smooth. By the first three months, I'm unable to, to smell, to cook that, you know, that first three months awful experience. And these, my girls, Ade lived very far away from me. She had to take a train. Ade will cook moi moi. <laughs> Ade will cook a goosey. Ade will bring me jollof. Nigerian jollof. I'm not bringing the argument here because I've had people taste my jollof. Nigerians taste my jollof and they think it's the best. I taste this. I'm like, oh my God, yours is the best as well. So I think, no, no, not that comparison is not coming here. I think it depends on how people prepare it. Enough of that. But Ade will cook take the train and carry it all the way to my house i will have mui back prepare peppered uh, uh, turkey and carry it all the way to my house i'll have joan <laughs> call me akua that's how she mentions my name akua i've prepared okra come and get your share and i go it's a whole uh, uh, container of okra they say okra <laughs> for me okay they are so supportive of each other these people I appreciate these girls around me I appreciate okay the way they support me they push me they believe in me it's unbelievable okay and that is one thing that I appreciate I appreciate about you Nigerian girl the next thing is Nigerian food if you know me I'm a foodie I love food I love moi moi I love a goosey I think my best is moi moi I learned how to prepare these things when I tasted them from my friends. I'm like, how do you guys make this? Teach me. <laughs> so they taught me how to do it. And then I went on YouTube and I learned more. So I know how to prepare Kusi very, very well. Moi Mai, very, very well. Nigerian jollof. I learned Adi's way of preparing jollof. It was a bit different from mine, but I loved it so much. And I started preparing it. I know how to prepare their okra. and. Uh, I'm still learning. I'm still learning. There are some of them I haven't tasted yet and I'm yet to. I want to. I will. And I will learn how to make them. I, I've, I've been watching CCME. I've been watching CCME on YouTube and I'm, I'm trying to yeah, copy some of her recipes. I love your food and I appreciate your food. I hope you guys will try Ghanaian food because our food is, is a bomb too. Combination of Nigerian Ghanaian. Ah. That would be great <laughs> so the next thing is the pigeon language i have never heard a language so versatile like their pigeon language use they use it in their comedy and i think it's what makes their comedy so special it's so funny in movies and the fact that everybody can speak it i think we have yeah we have language we have pigeon language in ghana as well but ours is mostly for 
the boys boys you know when they gather together they are doing their own thing but nigerian pidgin i think everybody can speak it isn't it correct me if i'm wrong but it's the language that even a person that has not been to school can speak and when they speak i'm sure everybody understands is english but speaking in a very different way kind of and it is a very special language that i wish i could speak probably i'll start learning i know a few from watching your movies and listening to your comedies but that language is a language that i really love it's when i hear them speak it i'm like okay i love this it's very it's a very nice language very very nice language <laughs> the next thing is the entertainment industry of nigeria from music to movies these people have mastered this industry and the craft okay i listen to i love the their music from whether secular or gospel although most of the time it's gospel that you hear me listening um from sinaj um, and mercy chingo judy k she's my favorite now you can never ever exist i love that music you do not lie you do not feel what is hard for you to do it doesn't exist though he can never ever have this door. <laughs> it's always on replay. I'm always listening. And uh, the movie industry, if you I'm not watching a Kumawood movie, that's a local lang um, language movie back in Ghana, then I'll be watching Nigerian movie. Okay, the way they bring in the you know that pidgin language into the movie, Messi, Messi Johnson. Uh, oh, I love Nigerian movies. I think their entertainment industry is the biggest in, in, in Africa. I think so. If not, just correct me. But I think it's the biggest and the one that is highly recognized by, by, by almost all the African countries and even abroad. Okay, they have really, really gone far with their movie industry. And kudos to you guys. I love Nigerian movies. I don't think I'll be, I will stop watch. I'll be stopping um, watching your movies anytime soon, especially your gospel music. It's always on replay. When I'm cooking, I'm in the kitchen doing my own thing. You hear Nigerian music at the background because it is that amazing. <laughs> I think after this video, if you've never ever appreciated Nigerians, you better. Have you got Nigerian friends? Go find yourself some Nigerian friends. <laughs> and subscribe to this channel if you haven't subscribed let us all grow together on this channel i appreciate you being here and i appreciate you um clicking the like and commenting i actually i read every comment and i reply respond to every comment so keep those comments coming i appreciate you being here and thank you for watching bye